is closed. Tonight it's game three of this four game set between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Milwaukee Brewers. A big time arm and a power bat should be fun. First pitch is next. Phil Necro, a righty from the state of Ohio, will do the pitching in this one. What's your take on him, E.K.? Well, guys, you're watching one of the best to ever take him out. Over 300 career wins. But what he's done in his career has been absolutely spectacular. And he's still going strong. I can't wait to watch him in this one. Drilled on the ground to short. Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. Justin Upton will get his first opportunity here. And as you can see, he's got that average up over the 290 mark to begin play. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Necro gets his sign. Here he comes 0-1. And Upton swings and misses on a good pitch that time. And it's quickly 0-2 now. Smoke toward the hole. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. Jackie Robinson takes his first shot here with the runner at first Jackie now and one Robinson. away. First pitch of the at bat. Now a ball crushed high in the air, deep to left, way back there, and that one is long gone. It's a two run shot to straight away left, number 11 for him on the season, as the Phillies have taken a two to nothing lead. Throw on to first, two gone. Batting fifth. Now to the plate, Chris Bryant, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Uh, he's fit to be tied after that one. It's 0-2. Well, a couple of good swings back-to-back, -back, but... Nothing at all to show for it. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. The 0-2 home. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. To short, hit hard. Gregorius has it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Aroldis Chapman gets the ball for Philadelphia in this one. What do we need to know here, E.K.? Well, guys, for a starting pitcher, ERA in the low ones, he's having a fantastic season. We'll look to see if he can continue that here in this one. And the throw will be too late, so it's a bunt single to get him started here. And hold on a minute now. It looks like we may see that last call challenged here. The call on the field was safe, but it was definitely a bang-bang play and tough for us to tell at full speed. Yeah, Matt, definitely a close play right there as we're going to get another look at it right here. Boy, that's just so tough to tell for sure from that replay. And we're going to have to see what the word from the dugout is. Remember, the ruling on the field is safe. So here's the signal from the bench, and they will indeed ask for the play to be reviewed. So the umpires will get on the horn with the replay operations center in Manhattan and attempt to get a definitive answer on this play. Okay, well, we're going to get one more look at it right here. Is there enough video evidence to overturn this call? Hmm, yeah, I think that shot right there makes it look like he might have been out. So this might be a well-used challenge. Okay, so it looks like the umpires are wrapping up their decision, and off comes the headset, and he's out. So the original call is overturned, and instead of having a base runner at first, the bases will now be empty. And they'll start things out with a change up here, but this is a bit too tight. It's ball one. These Phillies, Eric Karros, as they enter play here tonight, they enter this one off a loss after winning five of seven prior to that. Not only that, but they've got a two nothing lead here already. So this offense is really providing a big spark for their pitching staff. And Pence swings and misses there for strike three, and he's out number two. Ted Williams will dig in. One for four with a triple in last night's game. Well, you know, he's been averaging at least an RBI per game over his last 10, so yesterday's performance shouldn't have come as any big surprise to anybody. A high strike there, and it's one and one. 
You got to figure that that man right there would be more than happy to see this guy at the plate taking his swings with two out and nobody on all night long. And so would the guy on the mound. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. Still two and two. All even at two and two. Here it is. Third foul ball in a row, and this is turning into a pretty good at bat. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. And he'll get to see another one. It'll be the tenth pitch of this at bat. Just out in front of that one, still two and two. This is indeed a battle. The 11th pitch coming up. He spoils another one, and we'll do it again. Now a check swing, and he went around, says the home plate umpire. Pretty forceful about it. Patrick Rosales will stand in here and like so many others hitless in the shutout last night. Well guys he's really been scuffling lately hitting under 250 over his last 10 games so he's going to be looking to turn this thing around sometime soon. Hit hard on the ground a second to his left Carayas throw to first will be in time and there's one gone here to start the second. Batting seven. Center fielder At the plate 13. Anthony goes Anthony he'll get to take his goes. first cuts here. Swing and a liner, but this will be foul. Bases are empty, one man out. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. Drilled right back up the middle, and that is through into center field for a one-out single. And you know, just like any pitch, there's good knuckleballs, and then there's some bad ones, too. This thing comes right back down the heart of the plate. Those things are much easier to handle than the pitch that starts in the middle of the plate and then runs somewhere else. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Over now is Pence to make the grab. Two away now. Ryan Howard set to take his first cuts with a man at first and two away. Yeah, and he's going to have to find a gap to give that man on first a chance to score. Hit high and deep to right center. Back goes Pence at the track. The wall. Gone! It's a two-run shot here for Ryan Howard. Home run number nine on the year as the Phillies have opened things up now 4 nothing. Now this one is blasted to left field, and there's no doubt about it. Back-to-back -back jacks. The left fielder, number eight, Justin Upton. A solo shot here to left, and the fighting Phils have opened up a 5 nothing lead to short taken in by Gregorius throw in time and the side is retired Freddie Freeman will dig in and this season certainly hasn't been all that kind to him as he enters play with the average down in the 230s and taken in out there for the first out so the bases are empty with one man gone. And standing in, the left-handed hitting third baseman, Mike Mustakis. They set the target in, and this finds the inside corner for strike one. And I've got a little Mustakis trivia for you here. When he was drafted second overall in 2007, a high school teammate of his, Matt Dominguez, was selected 12th overall. They were only the sixth pair of high school teammates to be selected in the first Adding round seven. of the same draft. Designated hitter. Yonder Alonso Yonder is Alonso. in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. And you know, I think it's going to be important that when guys get their pitches, they take advantage. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Jackie Robinson is into the box as we are all set to begin the third. Nick Rose ready. Here comes the first pitch. 
Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. Now, after a rough couple of innings, you'd like to give your guy a chance to straighten himself out here, but I, I also think you got to keep your options open in case he just doesn't have it. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Kyle Schwarber. Chop foul at the plate, strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Got to like the approach right here. He's basically saying, if you're going to beat me, you're going to have to take it to left field because I don't think he's going to give this guy anything he can pull. Hit hard towards center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Now batting. Third base. Chris Bryant Chris stands in. He's Bryant. 0 for 1 after grounding out. And Matt, with the double play in order, they'll obviously be looking to induce another ground ball out of him right here. Hit hard down the line. Hit hard toward first. Solid base hit for him, his first of the afternoon. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. now right Patrick hand. Rosales Patrick stands in. Rosales. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Hey. In there, strike one. The early hit total, about what you'd expect in a score line such as this. Action now in the Milwaukee bullpen as they'll have a right-hander loosen up. That's in there. Base hit. He'll go to second for one, and he won't get it. It's dropped. But they'll tag the runner anyway as the drop doesn't cost him, and there are two away. Anthony Goes will stand in center in another dangerous team. spot here in the Anthony inning as this ball game goes. is hanging on the precipice of getting out of hand. Yeah, I think you have to get this guy if you're going to have any chance of sticking around. Even a single here might put this one out of reach. Now the 0-1. Had him fooled there as this is lifted in the air out to left center and shallow. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, Didi Gregorius will lead things off here with his guys down seven in the early going. Steve Lyons, how do you come back from a deficit like that? Well, I think slowly. I mean, yeah, ideally a 10-run inning would be great. But you've got time on your side. You don't One need to try to get it all back at once. Just pack away. A couple runs here, a couple runs there. Get yourself into slam range. That's four runs down. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. All even now, two and two. Filthy change up that time, but he's able to make contact and he'll get another chance. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Not quick enough that time, and he's lucky to get another chance. Count remains full. Went up and out of the zone that time, but he gets a piece of it, and he'll see another pitch. Good battle continues as this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and the count remains three and two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. Rob Brantley gets his first shot here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Ah, flip of his glove for one. Over to Howard, and indeed they get them both. Ronald Torres will stand in, getting the start here despite being out of the lineup last night. In there at the knees, strike one. Two out, nobody on. Hit the other way out toward right field. Rosales waits on it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Brewers go down quietly. Brian Soriano is going to come on and make an appearance here, though I suspect even he couldn't have predicted he'd be taking over in just the fourth inning. 
chopped weakly to the left. To his right, Moustakis. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. The first baseman, number six. Striding into the box, Ryan Howard. And he'll be looking to add on to his two RBIs from earlier. Swung on and missed, it's 0-1. You know, a lot of times with a sinker baller out there, you're just conditioned to always look for something down. So he can surprise you with that high fastball, maybe force him it every once in a while. And when he does, he can forget it. On to first, and the shift pays off there as Howard is retired for the second out. Eduardo Nunez steps in, working on a one-for-two game so far. Hard hit ball to second, but right there is the second baseman, and that will retire the side. Philly's down on just four pitches, but there's Ben Revere will dig in. 0 for 1 here Leading in this one. The Brewers here in the fourth. Center fielder. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. High and deep to right. Rosales ranging back. To the track, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. So close, but not enough on the fly ball there, and that's a story these guys have heard before as we take a look at the list of teams with the fewest home runs this year. Well, certainly doesn't look good, as you said, Matt. They're in the cellar of the National League in that category. And I'll tell you, when you're near the cellar and home run production like they are, every park looks like a pitcher's park. Two and one. One strike. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Well, I think it's time to attack now because these guys haven't been in too many good hitters' counts. This is where you need to pounce. Hit in the air toward the gap in right center. Ghost going back, still going back. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Ted Williams digs in with his team still looking at a zero in the hit column. And he takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees. Pretty liberal strike zone there. It's 0-1. And here's a foul tip into the catcher's glove. Moves it to 0-2 now. Now a ball sliced out of play down the left field line. No runs, no hits, and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. High and deep to right center field. Ghost going back, but he's not going to get this one. It's into the gap, and he's not stopping. He wants three, and he'll make it into third here with a two-out triple. The first baseman, number five. Freddie Freeman Freddie will get a chance Freeman. now as he hopes to cash in following the two-out triple. Fastball in there for a called strike. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Well, no taken now. He's going to have to swing the bat. Protecting on 0-2, so we'll do it again. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Justin Upton will dig in here. One for two. He's singled and grounded out so far. Now some movement out in the Milwaukee Justin bullpen. Both a lefty and a right-hander have begun to stretch it out. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0-1. And it's quickly 0-2. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Jackie Robinson strides into the box now. Launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. Skied into straightaway right. Pence on the run. And that's the second out of the inning. Now batting. Kyle Schwarber Designated will dig in. One Kyle for two. He grounded Schwarber. out the first time and followed that with a base hit in his second plate appearance. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. To first. Freeman's got it. And he'll step on the bag himself. And the inning is over. Mike Moustakis will stand in to start things out here in the home Please half of the, the fifth. Brewers. And you get the sense, Steve, there, that this crowd's been pretty well taken out of the ballgame to this point. Yeah, they pretty much had to sit on their hands all afternoon. 
Not a lot to get excited about so far. And I think that's a credit to that man out there on the mound. He's cut right through this lineup for the first four innings. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And this will find the wall out near the visitor's bullpen. And he will pull in here with a leadoff double. That's a great swing there. Leading off an inning. It's a fastball, but he just goes right with it and drives it the other way toward the gap. He's going to wind up on second here with a leadoff double. Yonder Alonzo will stand in for a second time here as he swings and misses there. It's nothing in one. And Robinson will throw him out. One gone. Didi Gregorius is into the box. Reached base via the walk in his first appearance. Drops in a strike to start the at-bat. Nothing in one. And he falls behind 0-2. A man at third with one away. That misses 1-2. and two. Not a real good 0-2 there. You don't necessarily want it in the zone, but you do want to at least give him something to think about. Rob Brantley will dig in. 0 for 1 in the ballgame. And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at-bat. It's ball one. To 2-0 and now as he hits with a runner at third and two away. Two tough sliders there back to back, and he couldn't get him to bite on either. Now he might have to change tack here down 2-0. and And he'll get there in plenty of time to put. Chris Bryant will stand in to lead things off here in the Philadelphia sixth. Here comes the first pitch. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Real good lateral movement on that two-seam fastball. That pitch is money for him when it's moving like that. So just keep on throwing it. Ah, not able to hold on there as he swings through a pitch in the dirt, and it doesn't look good for him now. Down 0-2. On ah, a good curveball. Gets him swinging for route number one. Patrick Rosales steps in, working on a one-for-two game so far. Into the seats, 0-1. This is line to left. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Anthony Ghost stands in. He was Anthony hosed at second trying to stretch a base hit into a double in his last at-bat. You know what? I I'm not sure if that was on him or the first base coach, but it obviously... Oh, wow, what a stop. To second for one. Relay to first in time, and just like... Ronald Torres will come forward now to start out their half of the Leading sixth, the and they've found it rough sailing Second against this starter so far as he's yielded to just two hits Target. through the first five. Not too many hard hit balls there either. He's had them off balance all game. And this is just off the outside corner, ball two. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Backhanded. And a rather easy first out. Center fielder, number ben 10. Revere will stand in, and he, like so many others, hitless in the ball game so far. First pitch is a changeup high, ball one. And he looks at a changeup in there, one and one. Hot shot on the ground is short. Nunez scoops it up, and a throw over to Howard, and that's the second out. The right fielder, number eight. Hunter Pence Hunter. will stand in now. He struck out and flied out, 0 for 2 thus far. In there, no balls and a strike. For that man right there, you need look back only to his last start to see a performance like the one he's shown here so far. And well on his way to another great outing. And that's what you get when you mix your speeds and throw a lot of strikes. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at 2 and 2. And when he's down 0 and 2, he's smart enough to know guys are going to try and get him to chase. So now at 2 and 2, he's got himself back to a spot where he doesn't have to go after a pitcher's pitch. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Ted Williams will step in now as his guys look for a breakthrough here with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, and it's been a long time coming. They haven't done anything with their opportunities so far. Maybe this would be the time that they finally crack the scoreboard. Chapman sets. Here's the one and one. 
And he'll fall behind now to one and two. And that misses two and two. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. Freddie Freeman would be next. Hot shot to third. And he'll just slap the tag on the runner between second and third. Luis Carrasco will start things out for the Phillies with the dangerous Ryan Howard waiting on deck. Hit hard to short. Gregorius is there. And a low throw to first that bounces as he can't hang on. Ryan Howard will dig in again, and as he does, we'll flash you back to inning number two as you get a look at his two-run homer that was a big blow early on. Chop foul right at home plate at strike one. Here's the 0-1. Sliced hard on the ground. Right to him. One there. Back to first. And that takes care of Howard. It's a double play. The batter, number nine. Eduardo Nunez steps in and perhaps looking to drive another one out of the park just like he did in the second. And here's a ball lifted high into foul ground down the right field line. Hence is there. And they breeze through this half inning as the side is retired. Freddie Freeman will try it again. He's grounded out and struck out in two trips. Yeah, not showing too much so far, but he's got a chance to make something happen right here. See if he can put those other ABs behind him. Aaron Loop will come in now working with a huge lead, so he'll just look to get some work in here. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. Tough fastball that time, but he hangs with it to stay alive. Fastball got him looking as that had two seam action on it. One gone. One away for the Brewers in their half of the seventh. And standing in the left-handed hitting third baseman, Mike Mustakas. Now a slider, and he gets ahead of him here. 0-1. Bounce to first. Fielded by Howard. And he'll take this to the bag himself. And there are two away now. Designated hitter. Yonder Alonso. Yonder Alonso is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Upton on the move. And that retires the side. Gone in order are the Brewers. Justin Upton comes to the plate and he'll start us off in the eighth. First pitch on its way. Upton. Uh, couldn't hold up on the curveball there as he went around for strike one. Takes a pitch high and away for ball one. Uh, he's working into his fifth inning out of the bullpen, so he's likely well beyond what was expected of him. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. A quick out number one. Jackie Robinson will stand in here, but before he does, let's take you back to the very first inning. This was a two-run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Kyle Schwarber strides in, grounded out his last time through. Hit hard toward second. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Running hard. He's digging for second. And he's in there safely. He's got a double. Now batting. Chris Bryant will get an opportunity Chris here in a run Bryant. scoring spot now following the two out double. And this is really where you earn your money. Runner on second, two outs. Let's see what he can do here. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Boy, and the shellacking continues as this is down for extra bases. The runner from second crosses the plate. It's eight to nothing. Patrick Rosales digs in, coming off a single in his last at bat. And they take another single right here, too, no doubt. Runner in scoring position, so any ball into the outfield probably gets him home. Oh, and here's a fastball right down the middle of the plate that swung on and hit out to deep left field. And 
This one's not coming back. This is a long home run. Now batting, center fielding. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. Number 13 for him on the year as this lead got even wider. That'll be a souvenir, and the count will move to one and one. Ready to deal. Here's the one one. Now a ball hit sharply toward third. Again, a nice clean base hit is third of the game. Luis Carrasco will stand in. One of the few guys not to join the hit parade so far. Yeah, guys, he's got to be feeling a little bit like that dog that gets left out in the rain while the rest of the family's inside by the fire. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Didi Gregorius digs in to lead off the bottom of the eighth Leading inning. And so far in this one, they're still getting shut out. So this lead off that bat could be huge if you can just get on base because they've been held in check all game. Hold on here, though. You can see the skipper heading out of the dugout now, so that very close safe call might be challenged. Well, here's another look at it now. I couldn't really tell when we saw it live, and I'll tell you what, it's still tough to tell from that angle. We're going to have to see what the dugout decides. And that's a thumbs up from the bench, so they will challenge the call on the field. So the umpires on replay duty in Manhattan will now review the play from all available angles in order to make the final Ladies decision. Gentlemen, the previous play is under video. OK, review. well, we're going to get one more look at it right here. Is there enough video evidence to overturn this call? Hmm. Yeah, I think that shot right there makes it look like he might have been out. So this might be a well used challenge. OK, so it looks like the umpires are wrapping up their decision and off comes the headset and he's out. So the original call is overturned and instead of having a base runner at first, the bases will now be empty. Rob Brantley stands in for the third time now as he takes a look at a ball. It's one and oh. No runs, three hits, one error thus far in the game for Milwaukee. Can't keep the weight back and he falls behind one and two. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Ronald Torres will stand in now with two away, needing to really get something started here. And their chances of getting back into this ball game are growing dimmer by the batter. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Three up, three down for Milwaukee. Lead looks in. Set to start the ninth now from Space City, Houston, Texas, as we continue our presentation of Major League Baseball on the show. Carlos Villanueva will come on now in a mop-up role as he'll just try and keep this deficit from growing any larger. Ryan Howard is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning. 1-0. 1-0 and and pitch on the way. Goes the other way, and this is in the air out to left. Williams is there. One quick out to start inning number nine. The batter number nine, shortstop. Eduardo Nunez Eduardo steps Nunez. in and perhaps looking to drive another one out of the park just like he did in the second. There's a good fastball on the outside corner as he'll take a look at strike one. High in the air and deep to left center field. Williams ranging back. And this one is gone. A home run. So a solo shot here to left center field. His second of the game as the blowout continues. Justin Upton is at the plate now. And he's quickly behind 0-1. Barely able to make contact. Down 0-2 now. Ready with the 0-2. And a swing and a miss as they caught him reaching that time. And there are two away. Jackie Robinson strides into the box now. Launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. Hit in the air out to center field. Revere will get there and he puts it away to retire.
Ben Revere will be tasked now with leading things off in their half of the night because they'll try to do something to prevent being shut out. And whatever they've done to the first eight innings hasn't yielded a whole lot so far. So, quite frankly, I'm not expecting too much. The right fielder, Hunter Pence, gets another crack right here. He's got a hit in three tries to this point. And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. And here's a swing and a miss that time by Pence as he falls behind here, nothing in two. Can't quite get around in time to keep it fair, and it remains 0-2. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this is a foul ball. 0-2 count. Here's the pitch. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike. And that's the second out of the inning. Now batting. Left fielder. Out in front of it. Strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And here's a ball hit in the air. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. And just past his outstretched glove into left, the base hit. Freddie Freeman will stand in now, hoping to get on track as they've been able to neutralize his power out of the cleanup spot. 0 for 3 thus far. Well, guys, it just hasn't been his day. You know, sometimes cleanup hitters are sort of all or nothing type hitters. But hey, he's still got a chance to make an impact on this game right now. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. And this save will wind up being the three-inning variety, and that's got to be okay with him as he gets the final nine outs to finish off this victory. Time for one final check of the line score as you see.